everyone, my name is New Flower Girl, but you can call me Demi, and welcome back to another After Talk. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, Sepang Grand Prix for the MotoGP and the US Grand Prix for Formula 1. Um, it was very early on one side and very late on the other side. Um, qualifying for Formula 1 was like at 12 my time. So basically I had to rush down after Minecraft Championship finished. Luckily, well... I say luckily. Um, well, we didn't um, stream the uh, uh, the um, the dodgeball. Uh, so yeah, after he finished streaming, I just ran downstairs, made another cup of tea. Had four cups of tea that night, that evening. So yeah, but yeah, I watched qualifying live, and it was late. But yeah, now we're going to be talking about all of this, and yeah. Let's go. Uh, first of all, Sepang Grand Prix. Uh, because that was the first one. That's basically the order I do it in. This is the penultimate round. Um, this was the penultimate round. Uh, in two weeks, there's the final. And then MotoGP is finito. And then for, uh, Formula 1 still goes. First, we're going to look at the retirements. We had Scott Ogden, Stefano Nepa, David Munoz. Nepa went on pretty hard. Munoz also went off pretty hard, both in turn 9, for some reason. Tatsuki Suzuki, he crashed also in turn 9. Um, then we had Alberto Sura, Carlos Tatai, Ricciardo Rossi, and Tayo Furusato actually got disqualified from, um, uh, from qualifying after, he, um, after it was found out that he was not heavy enough. Yeah, dropped from P15 to P18. But yeah, I'm going to look back at, um, uh, yeah. I don't know if there are any, like, Malaysian people in here. Um, no, Ortola is not, um, it's, 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 uh, it's Italian or Spanish. Uh, but then let's have a look at Azman, uh, if he is from Malaysia. If Google wants to load. <laughs> hey, come on, keyboard. Azman. Uh, I've got to type in the first name. He's from Malaysia. Um, he's 16th. I think that's everyone. <laughs> um, the winner, surprisingly, John McPhee. And his penultimate Grand Prix, probably his last Grand Prix like ever. Because the man is 28. And in Moto3 you can't race if you're older than 28. So basically next year you can't race. Um... Yeah, it, it was an emotional moment for him because um, this is uh, this might have been his last ever race victory. And yeah, people uh, people are, are confusing him uh, with uh, people think that he's British, but he's Scottish. Yeah, he, he is Scottish. Uh, second place, Ayumu Sasaki, and third, Sergio Garcia. Of course, uh, I think Guevara already has a title in his hands. We uh, had that last week. No, in Phillip Island. Was that last week? Yes, that was last week. Um, yeah. Uh, we also heard the news that there's going to be another duchy in this uh, in the race class here. Uh, because Jean McPhee is going to be leaving, uh, the new duchy is going to replace the place of Jean McPhee. going to be Yumi Sasaki's new teammate on the Husqvarna. So yeah, I'm excited. Now we have three. Yeah. Well. This Grand Prix weekend we had one. Only one Dutchie because Zonta did not race. He still had a broken, uh, broken wrist. Uh, we're hoping he will be back in for, uh, for Valencia. Ricciardo Tormo. 
But yeah, now it's just a battle for P2 in the championship. And if I have a look at it right now, if it wants to load, I feel like it might go to Sergio Garcia, because he's like pretty close to it. Um, I don't know how much difference it is, because I'm bad at maths, like right on the spot. Um, so yeah, Foggio is at 233, and Sergio Gar Garcia is now at 241. You guys do the maths for me. Um, and yeah, I think Ayumu Sasaki is also still in for it. No, that's... Yeah, it is. 227. Then it's on true. He, he's not in full. He, he definitely gets P5 or P6. But anyway. Moto 2. Yeah. Let's go for the uh, retirements. First of all. Barry Baltis did not start this Grand Prix. He, um... During either... Practice or qualifying, he got um, he got picked up by um, by Aaron Canet. Canet crashed, um, lost the front, and took Barry with him, and it didn't go softly at all. Uh, Barry ended up having uh, a fracture in one of his heels, um, and he couldn't. He, it's basically bye bye season for him. Same for Sam Lois. Or Alex Lowe's. No, Sam Lowe's. Um, he, uh, yeah. He's done. Also, um, there were a lot of... There was, like, a big opening crash. And it kind of worked in, in the uh, advantage of Bobben Schneider a little. Um, I'm going to quickly... That's F F10. I'm going to quickly go and check for you guys if it is there. So, Mitch GP. If the... If it, Oh, no, that's story. I have Instagram open, by the way, so. Um, I don't think it is actually up. Oh, there's that incident between Ice and Guevara. Um, It's not there. I believe it is on Twitter. So. Yeah. It is on Twitter. So. Um, I'll quickly open up my Twitter for you guys. If it wants to load. Twitter. Um, I'm gonna have to search for it. Mods GP. Mods GP. So just just something with arm pumps. Let's go F11 mode. Come on. It takes so long because like nothing like wants to load. And that's that's the question. Ayogura. Sorry, I said it. Ayogura did not finish the race. But then again, he's not champion yet. Uh Alright, now we have the whole thing that I retweeted. Uh, right here, right here, right here. You guys are hearing sounds. I'm gonna turn off the sounds. So, here we go. This is the crash. Right here. And there's the opening, there's for Ben Schneider. But yeah. So, Pedro Costa, Chantra, um, 
Sanchez. He's uh, a, um, you know, an extra driver, like wildcard driver. Sacconi and Canet. They were involved. And Acosta, Chantra and Sanchez, they DNF. Here we have another point of view. We can definitely see... Never mind. That's the quickest never mind moment I have ever experienced in my life. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, I've also re retweeted it. Um... But yeah, people. The, there were people who had like an incident. Um, so um, some uh, Chantra has been declared uh, fit um, uh, after an X-ray on his left hand showed no fractures. Then we had um, Sanchez has been declared unfit after an X-ray on his left collarbone confirmed a com uh, comminuted fracture. Um, on mode 3 driver Albert Asura has been declared fit as an x-ray on his neck and shoulder showed no fractures uh, Scott Ogden declared unfit as, after an x-ray on his right foot highlighted a fracture on the 5th metatarsal me, uh, meta what the heck is that uh, Stefano Nepa has been declared unfit due to uh, a left tibia and Fibular fracture, and there's nothing on Pedro Acosta because Acosta was able to continue, uh, but later he crashed. So yeah, and Joe Roberts also crashed. Uh, and as I spoiled, Ayagura. We had some people as a um, extra driver. Um, I need to look some up. Like Malaysian Moto 2 drivers. Malaysian Moto 2 drivers 2022. And we, of course, don't see that. Great. Um, Uh, motorcycle racer. Is he from Malaysia? Yes, he is Malaysian. Uh, he is lost, unfortunately. Azroy Anuar. I think. I think it didn't say anything. Borja Gomez. Borja Gomez. Um, he's a replacement for Jorge Navarro. Um, I don't know if he's um, Malaysian or not. I don't think he is. Uh, then we had Kashma Daniel, um, twen uh, his 19th. Um, and that was it. <laughs> uh, but Ben Schneider P14, he had a troublesome um, opening. Well, I say opening. He basically dropped back after, I believe, in a little incident with um, with Joe Roberts. I mean, that's what, that's what they said. I don't know if that was true or not. We haven't heard anything from it, so who can confirm, right? Um, yeah, B14 for him. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, first place, the winner was Tony Arbolino. Second was Alonso Lopez and third, Jake Dixon. Yeah. Right here, the championship is not yet decided. I mean, it might say here that it is already decided. Because apparently here they don't do like the half... They do have the half points, of course. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> um, so, Augusto Fernandez is at 251.5 and Ayagura is at 250. 42. So Ayagura still has a chance of winning the title. All he has to do is win. Augusto Fernandez needs to make sure that he basically 
loses, um, that he basically doesn't lose like 10 points to Ayogura. Basically 9 points to Ayogura. Because like that half point, that also makes a difference. Um, so yeah, I feel like Ayogura is just going to do his best in qualifying, do his best in training, and then just bloody goes for it. Like, calmly. Like, not throwing it away. Um, so yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, but Ben Schneider, P13 in the championship, by the way, my jinx it, but he has got zero retirements to his name this season. I might have jinxed it right now, but he's got zero retirements this season. Yeah. M not every race he finished in the points, but hey, at least you can say that you finished a, ra a, finished a weekend without retirements. Well, finished a season without retirements. But yeah. Let's move on to much GP. This cannot be more exciting. I've said, uh, I believe last video, uh, last after talk, I said last lap, last, uh, last round, last race, last lap. It's going to go to Valencia. The title is going to go to Valencia. <sighs> I'm excited. <laughs> I can't wait. Retirements. Luca Marini, his first one. Uh, it was later explained that he had an issue with his hold shot device, which they use at the start. Um, it it basically fails the, for almost everyone the entire season. We had it with Mark Marquez in Aragon. We had it with... Uh, um, oh, who was it? Um, Maverick Vinales in Germany. We, we have it with so many people now. The hold shot device is basically not trustworthy right now <laughs> but yeah that was his only retirement like ever in the merge gp that's even more sad then uh that uh, tetsuta nagashima replacement for sasuke suzu uh, for for nakigami uh because i uh, he still can't race hoi matin crashed out from the lead and fabio gigi antonio uh, antonio and darren binder crashed together uh, Juan May raced today, but he was last. Um, yeah. There was no Malaysian driver in here. So we'll just go for the winner. And that was Francesco Bonaya. Second, Enea Bassianini. And third, Fabio Quattraro. If Fabio was fourth, then the title would have gone to Ducati. But because Fabio finished on the podium... It's going to go to Valencia. And... I... I'm excited. I don't think that Fabio can do it. Because he's like 18 points behind now. Um, and Ducati is pretty strong. But then again... I believe Quattraro has more experience on a MotoGP bike in Valencia. Than Francesco. Because Francesco got in MotoGP in 2020. And Quattraro got in MotoGP in 2019. So maybe that one year of ex extra of experience could help him. But then again, he's not always the strongest on, uh, on the Spanish circuits. So yeah. But let's go and look at the standings right now. Like I said, 18 points difference. Not 18 points. It doesn't say 18 points. <laughs> uh, 258 for Benaya and 235 for Quattraro it's like 23 is it even updated yes it is updated okay right so that's it <laughs> So basically, Elijah, uh, Anea Bassinini and Elijah Sparrow are not in for the uh, for the title. It's just Quattraro and Benaya. And now we go on to Formula One. I'm, lo I'm basically thinking way too long. Yeah. Um, retirements: Carlos Sainz, Valtteri Bottas, and Lance Stroll. 
Lance Stroll deserves, in my eyes, a race ban and he should actually not be in Formula 1 anymore because, like, what he did, it was too dangerous. And yet he only receives three second penalty for it. Not three second, a three place grid penalty for next race in Mexico. What? Like, come on, you nearly kill a man. That's true, he nearly killed someone. Even though that guy was able to continue. And, yeah, like it was, like it was said, he got put back to P15. <sighs> Poor Nando Alonso. Right. I'll show you guys later on what happened, okay? What that was. There's been a couple of memes about it. One of them was a Rocket League. I love that one. <laughs> and then another another one was sent by my friends like, Can you do a wheelie? And then and then was like big like that bit in slow motion. Um yeah. Let's have a look. Uh Nicholas Latifi, P uh, sixteen uh, seventeen, sorry. Daniel Ricciardo sixteen. Alonso fifteen. He got thirty second time penalty. So because of this. He had an yeah, basically, if you, if you, uh, later on you'll see why. Uh, Mick Schumacher, P14. Pierre Gasly, P13. Alexander Alban, P12. Guan Yu Zhao, P11. Esteban Ocon, P10. Yuki Tsunoda, P9. Kevin Maxnesson, P8. Sebastian Vettel, who actually led the Grand Prix for a little while. It was so awesome. P7 for him. Fernando L um, Lando Norris with a massive comeback from P13 to P6. George Russell, after hitting Carlos Sainz off, for which he did go and apologize to him personally. P5. Sergio Perez, P4. Charles Leclerc with a um, starting from like P12 or something. Yeah, P12. In third. Lewis Hamilton. After finally being uh, having to fight for P1 again, P2, and Max Verstappen won, which ultimately gave Red Bull the ta uh, the championship uh, the champion title constructor the constructors title. So all all that they had to do was have one of the drivers win, one of the Red Bull drivers win, and then they had the title. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> um. So signs actually. Uh, DNF because of a water leak caused by the crash, I believe. Valtteri Bottas beached it, uh, coming out of the penultimate last corner. And then Lance Stroll basically... You'll see. You'll see, guys. You'll, you'll see what kind of crash that was. It was pretty nasty. So, yeah. Let's go. I hope sounds are off for this. So yeah, that's basically what we saw on TV. That's Fernando, that's Stroll, right there. Yeah, and one tire, ex uh, ex exactly one tire came off. Yeah, we also have the onboards. This is the onboard of Alonso. Keep an eye out for the, for the car in front. You can see him moving in, turning in on him. You don't do that. Even though that's the racing line, I mean, you still need to pay attention to the people behind you. This is just a, a classic case of miscommunication, guys. In Formula 1, if you are not certain on which direction you want to go in, then you should not move at all. Because that will only call... If you just do things, like, if you move, like... Um, if you, if you move and then someone crashes into you, you are done for. And apparently someone put Alonso got strolled. Yeah. But this also um, shows that Alpine got the strongest car. Because look at the impact. He actually made a wheelie and then bam, into the wall. That car is strong. What did they use? Vibranium? I hope so. But yeah. Also, what happens? Because Max uh, won, 
Uh, he's now a part of the 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 club uh, of the thirteen club. Max Verstappen, thirteen wins. He can now reach a record of fourteen, possibly fifteen. So yeah. To be honest, George Russell did, couldn't actually turn in. You can see, this is the, the bottom of the steering wheel. He had understeer going in. Like, you can't do further than this. So, yeah. He did get a penalty for that, though. Yeah, and that's retirement. But yeah, they, they also showed clips of him leaving the Ferrari office. Right there. And I believe that was right there where you did the hand thing with. That was uh, uh, Charles. So yeah. And Red Bull, like I said, is now champion. 656 points, guys. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Their fifth constructors championship. Yeah. Alpine for Zidlando is still on. <laughs> True. True. So yeah. And their classic celebration. Look at all their hats. Oh, Max just goes in for it. <laughs> I love these celebrations. Like, they just get their cans of Red Bull and just throw it around like, like that. That's insane. I love that. Yeah. Fifteen hours ago, should have known. Should have known. And um, we might have a potential potential new Williams driver, Logan Sargent. I do hope so for him, for America's sake, because then we would have uh, an American Formula One driver. It's exciting, I know. It's bloody exciting. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am going to go and play some Minecraft listening to some more Wilbur Sid songs. Because I love those songs so much. I've started to sing along to them. And they're so good. I love them. Um, but yeah. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, keep in mind that for, sun, uh, for Saturday's video I have a Halloween video. So um, make sure to watch that while having a blanket. It's not actually that scary now that I think about it. It's just some games I play with some of my friends and it's more like funny than scary. Um, yeah. Basically we had a plan and it failed. So then we just did something else. We basically had a backup plan. Uh, but yeah, I will put the... Uh, I will also put uh, yeah their, their socials on that video. So if you guys do want to watch, uh, do want to support them too, then go ahead. And I'll also, also put um, another person's pers uh, perspective. Um, uh, one of my friends, uh, who's actually also somewhat, uh, Tano Leon. Um, I probably pronounce that uh, he, uh, very, like, wrong, but, uh, it, but yeah, you know what, who I mean. Um, yeah, oh, he also recorded it. It was basically for his video. Uh, he already uploaded it. Uh, so yeah, you guys can also go and watch that. But yeah, that's it for me for now. Like it, you like the video while you're at it. Subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you guys in the Halloween video. Bye!